Have you ever been editing a big project and you just take your footage and drag it into your sequence and it just gets a little bit jumbled and messy? Here's a mind-blowing tip to help you out in this situation. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Corey from CNUS Media and in today's video, I'll be sharing a mind-blowing tip that'll not only help you edit quicker, but also have a cleaner sequence. Let's jump right into it. Looking at your project, when you wanna drop B-roll onto your sequence, you just drag your footage onto your sequence and place it above the A-roll, or you know, you might be fiddling around with your V1s and your V2s and activating and deactivating them. Here's just an easier way to drop your footage onto your sequence. If you drag your source window footage that you wanna put into your sequence over the program window, you'll be greeted with a few options that'll either place or insert your clip onto your timeline. You can use overlay, which will basically put the clip on top of whatever clip is underneath it. And you can stack this as many times as you want. You have other options too, like insert before or after, which will place the source clip either before or after the clip that's already in your sequence. A really neat one that helps me out constantly is when I receive notes from clients, is that you have a replace option. This replace option will replace the clip on the sequence with your source window clip. Another option you have is overwrite, which will replace whatever's on your sequence depending on the length of the clip you have in your source monitor. And finally, you have insert, which will push your source window clip into your timeline wherever the sequence head is. Using these options really help speed up your workflow and help you edit faster. Uh, ever since I've started using it, I've I found it, it increased my productivity tenfold. Who says you can't teach an old dog new tricks? If you learned something new from today's tutorial, please like, comment, and subscribe as I'll be releasing new videos in the near future. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.